the latest announcement, a new eatery, Jimmy John's, is moving into downtown. Local diners have more options. Now, the question is, does the presence of popular chains have a negative impact on local businesses? New at 5.30, WSLS 10's Christina Craig talked to business owners and city leaders, as well as customers, to get their take on chains versus local stores and restaurants. Downtown restaurants along Campbell Avenue will soon have a new neighbor. Jimmy John's has signed a lease to move into this vacant storefront. Would love more options. I think that um, over the past years, the downtown area has been growing. Um, I would like to see it continue to grow. It's a movement this Vinton mother of two and city leaders promote. Joyce Waugh, the president of the Roanoke Regional Chamber, says the goal is to bring both local and national businesses in. I would rather see um, different storefronts you know, filled with um, a variety of stores, both, you know, home locally grown, if you will, as well as nationally known. Certainly we love the uh, local businesses and like to see them successful. But I think with that success, uh, like any city that gets uh, a little bit bigger, uh, it attracts the national market. However, the general manager at Corned Beef, a staple in the community since the mid-80s, says the opening of a new chain restaurant will hurt business. He recalls when Pita Pit opened, their lunch hours slowed for a few weeks. There will be a little bit of a buzz about it, and some of the local businesses will see that people jump on that bandwagon for a short time. But because Roanoke is so locally oriented, I think eventually it'll fizzle out and they'll come back. More commercial businesses mean more jobs, and it generates tax revenue. That can in turn be used to help support other city services like education. But some of the franchise fees, they do go back to a, to a national company. So some of the money does go back uh, out, out of our community. But uh, the, the large majority stays here. Overall, many agree it's the variety of shops, local and chain, that give downtown its flavor. In Roanoke, Christina Craig, WSLS 10.